The Plaster Creek watershed in Grand Rapids, Michigan flows through commercial, residential and industrial areas before emptying into the Grand River. Some of the watershed is fairly low income, formerly industrial area, so now there's a lot of um, vacant buildings and uh, probably a lot of residual pollutants and things. There's a lot of E. coli contamination um, coming from agricultural areas in the upstream of the watershed that then sort of all concentrate and come to bear down in these low income neighborhoods in the urban core of the city. If I were gonna feel the, the pulse of the community, an interesting way to do that is just look at the stream quality downstream from where everybody's living. Plaster Creek is one of the most polluted watersheds in western Michigan. The creek suffers from excess sediment build from stormwater runoff and flooding. What we've realized now is that what we need to do is engage the agricultural communities in the upper watershed. So one of the things we're trying to do is create partnerships between schools and churches and other community groups in the, in the lower watershed with those in the upper watershed um, so that um, the, the communities in the upper watershed don't feel like they've got uh, the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality or people from this academic institution pointing fingers and saying, um, you know, you're not, you know, your behavior is causing problems and being condescending about it, but rather to create a partnership within the watershed so there's kind of a community there and uh, there will be a horizontal transfer of information. The Plaster Creek stewards are working to engage the community to transform this former gypsum mining area back into an asset for residents. The human environment is an ecosystem too. Urban areas are where people are, honestly, that's where most people are exposed to nature. Um, who, you know, they don't, not everybody gets out into a national forest or a national park or somewhere far away. Um, they need nature that's, you know, nearby where they live. I think one lesson that we've learned is that change comes really slowly. <laughs> year to year, habitat quality and water quality in the creek are probably still getting worse and worse every year, even as people um, get more and more excited. So we have to keep a a really long-term view on what we're doing. And then some point that return will come, but we haven't reached that point yet, so you gotta keep morale up in the meantime.